A life-changing experience with just one haircut. Now that woman is doing something she never imagined. Dan Rascone taking us inside the story of Friar Tuck's Barbershop. Mark, she went from very long hair to very short hair. That one experience led her to a new career she never expected and a story that's gone viral. Walk into any barbershop around town. Huh? What do you want to do? And you're bound to hear... Well, have you been to New York before? All kinds of interesting... All the people and... Stories. Well, then you're already used to all the craziness. But at Friar Tuck's Barbershop on the west side of Salt Lake, there's a life-changing story to be told, not by the customer. I love working with my hands. But the barber, 29-year-old Kylie Howe. I grew up in a small town in, like, central Utah, Carbon County. Kylie's story starts off pretty normal with her mom running a hair salon. It was definitely like a very traditional, like, girly girl, beauty parlor kind of upbringing. But Kylie says she knew something was different. She didn't like girly things. I just didn't have a lot of interest in that. I just played in the dirt a lot of the time. When she was about 25 years old, Kylie says it was finally time for a new hairdo. I had, you know, long hair kind of down to the middle of my back. Well, it was the 90s, so there were a lot of perms and like big bangs. She decided to cut it short, really short. The new look changed her life. And when I cut my hair short, it was more who I actually was, so like, I wasn't just trying to pretend anymore. I felt like me. But there's more. Later while getting her hair cut, she felt the urge to quit her job and enter the mostly man's world of barbering, even though family told her otherwise. There was no money in it and people didn't take it seriously. Kylie beat the odds, getting her license and eventually opening up her very own shop. I love it. Every time I like flip on the lights, it's like, yes, like this is mine and I get to do what I can do best. So why the name Friar Tucks? Well, first of all, she believes Robin Hood's sidekick is a pretty cool guy. He was a, a skilled swordsman. He was kind of a chubby guy, like, um, and he used his authority within the church to educate poor people. And on top of that, her barber shop is located, of all places, Sherwood Forest. Sherwood Forest was a complete coincidence but I made a choice to be happy. Kylie's story caught the attention of a new national dove campaign of what true beauty is really all about. The most beautiful that someone can be is when they are being the most authentically themselves. The video has gone viral with now more than 2 million hits. For Kylie, it's a chance to share her story in hopes of letting others know that beauty lies within. Most people think that because I don't fit the traditional standard of beauty that I just don't care when really I just care in, in kind of a different type of way. And it all started with a haircut. Everybody really does have something to like bring to the table. Well, since the Dove video was released on YouTube, Kylie says a positive response from other women has been overwhelming. For a link to her story and the barbershop, go to our website, KUTV.com.